I got this upper radiator support. We got the lower one. The radiator and the condenser came out of the mounts, but the lower cradle didn't really get anything. This got shifted a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep going with it anyhow, and it even looks like this. Wow, what was that? It even looks like this end of the whatchamacallit might even got shifted over, or more likely, yeah, that, this, this got pushed back. So, I think it'll hold alignment just fine, and it ought to drive fine. Oh man, this camera's really screwing up. Uh, yeah, my dad was driving, and uh, he should have known better. He always used to tell me about it. God dang this camera. He always used to tell me about it when it first starts raining you really gotta really gotta take it easy and it was just starting to rain he was on the way home and uh, there's a turn that just slightly veers off to the right and as you're turning you go up over a little hump and he hydroplaned and hit a tree stump he was all right, and uh, <laughs> God bless that old man. He was all right, and I think I can, I think I can save the car. It'd be a lot easier if I had this this bumper assembly and the uh, whatever the hell this shit is that holds the hood latch, and this thing. Uh, You can shut up. I'm thinking I could straighten that bumper assembly, but I'm also thinking about a piece of C-channel or something. Uh, this mount. Um, huh. and of course it could be straightened, but this is one of the things that kind of saves your ass or kind of saves other people's asses if you pile it up. I mean, this thing did its job. It, it crumpled and absorbed energy. So I don't know whether I want to try to... If, if, I, if I straighten it cold, it's going to weaken it. If I heat, it and straight, heat it and straighten it, it's going to weaken it. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. You know, there's just a whole bunch of I don't know right now. But I'm pretty sure I can fix it. If I had another, uh, oh boy, I believe it's a 91 to 94 sitting here that I could just unbolt stuff from, that would be a lot easier. So right now I'm just kind of thinking. And this hood, that took a bit of damage too. Uh, that's not a critical structural thing, so if I can get that straightened out good enough to latch and, and pop loose, just fine. Well, you can see that's... <laughs> well, it's gonna be. It's all waffled. Oh, uh, so just kind of going over the whole mess at the moment. Hoping that I can help my dad out. I guess he figured I didn't have enough to do. Give me something to do. <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this upper radiator support, though, I'll wrap rope around this and then around a tree so I can stick a bar in the rope and then just wind it up and slowly, hopefully, pull this out pretty close to where it belongs this thing I'm not I'm not too afraid to try and hammer on that because that's not a real uh, structure impact whatchamacallit type of thing it's mainly this mount mm -hmm. and of course the bumper I don't know 
just some really, really, uh, well, some appropriately sized, gauged, whatever C channel, and I'd have to put like a, a curve into it. And that thing, we're going to reuse that. It got a little messed up there, but I'm sure it'll be okay. I'll reuse the bumper cover, put the heat gun to it, and straighten it up as best I can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just just spend a good chunk of change and time doing the AC on this thing. All right, here we got the rope set up. I got a pole in there, and it's long enough so it decides to run away. On if it decides to run away, it'll hit the ground instead of hopefully smacking me. Just uh, get a good place to stick this ornery friggin' camera. Mm, I'd like to get it so we can kind of mm, maybe that might might to do there. Mm, I don't have enough good to stick it on. Now let's see if the let's see if we can do anything. I'll wind this rope up. Uh, actually, looking sort of close to where I want to be. And you can see right there it's split. And it's looking a little bowed up. I might just uh, get up there and stomp on it. <laughs> but I think this will work. All right, uh, far as that way, it's looking pretty dang close to what I want. Now you can see this, I still got, uh, you know what, you might as well just come out. I still got, you know, I got to get that radiator sitting in there right. And uh, the condenser got knocked right off its bottom mounts. Fortunately, they're still there. I got both of the rubber pieces, so I should be able to shift that around. I got, I got to do some fudging, you know. <sighs> this would really be a lot better if I had the parts to bolt to this thing, which that, that might just be the thing to do. Because if this thing ever gets in another wreck, No matter how good I get that bumper, it's not going to stand up the same, and especially this mount. So, I, 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 I don't know. I don't think I even want to try a different, just a piece of C-channel or something, because it ain't going to be the same. It'd be better than nothing. But be, it'd, it'd just be so much easier to, to bolt another one up. And I know the one junkyard around here has a 94 cat or yeah 94 cavalier which i believe will bolt right up to this uh you know, and it'd be cool to get the hood off it too only thing i don't like about that junkyard they'll charge you a core you go and buy a hood they'll charge you a core on this hood and two two or three bucks or something but still you know you're gonna charge me probably 40 bucks for the hood or maybe a 20 whatever i'm gonna go out of there with probably $150 worth of parts and $15 extra worth of core charges for for the crap. <laughs> like they're going to rebuild this shit? I don't know. Bunch of friggin' gypsies. But, whatever. It's, it's coming. Uh, I don't know about the headlight assembly, though. And if I can't find one, I'm hoping I can get this inspected, but if I can't find the proper one, you know, I don't want to duct tape some flashlights and crap to it. You know, I'd like to at least put a headlight assembly in there somewhere. But, you know, as long as it's working, as long as it's about the same intensity and it's aimed right, why would they have any problem? I mean, unless you're in California, you know, they're going to have a problem with everything. But And you might get pulled over and asked about it a few times, but... I don't see the problem, but I will, I will see if I can locate the proper stuff. Oh boy. 
<laughs> it ain't one thing, it's another.